that when I go, I will have a home somewhere. Let me find my friend in Jesus, and let me know that when I go, you will have a home for me. Let me be closer to thee. Let me have my the camp. Smelled your smoke and your coffee. Might I be riding in? He's on down, Parson. Bring your cup. You have a partner, have you? Yeah. Invite him in. Mind if I say a word of thanks for your kindness? Lord, it has been a mighty long trail in some damn cold camps. Mighty cold camps on some mighty hard ground. And for those who offer us warmth and comfort, we are truly grateful. But it is damn little comfort, knowing this of all teachings. We bring nothing into this world, and we surely take nothing out. What the hell? Amen. Don't drop them hammers, preacher. It'd be Roscoe Binder. It makes you Cade Winslow. The boys, the way I see it, You've got two choices. You can try me. Between the two of you, one of you will get off a shot. The question is, which one of you lives and which one of you dies where you're standing? You can live a week or two longer if you get a good lawyer. You'd be leech. And you best be making your choices. You stand clear of that hardware. Oh! Ah! Poor likeness. How you ever live long enough to get $500 on you beats the dickens out of me. A man's on the run, learns to live in a cold camp, a dry one. You need to stay down. Ugh! And you damn sure don't want to invite strangers into your camp. Get a man killed. Then again, a man with a bounty on him pretty much guarantees himself Christian burial. No remains, no reward. Del Rio in a couple of days. That river's not too high. You ought to smell pretty randy by then.
there with you. Old Kate's getting pretty ripe in this heat. No way to talk about your partner, Binder. <laughs> Can't come here. Go away. Tell Maria that I want to see her. Impossible. Go away. Go away. Go Please. away. Tell Maria I want to see her. Benjamin, you cannot do this. Why not? Because it is not proper. Go away. It is our tradition. Can't we start our own tradition? <laughs> Open up. I have something for you. Something old. You could say it's something borrowed. That's our tradition. What is it? It was my mama's. One of the few things she left me. Maria, I want you to wear it. You must close your eyes and promise me you won't look if I open the shutter. I promise. Still time for reflection, my young friend. You can still turn and walk away. <laughs> land back in Georgia's all played out, Chewy. I mean, this is new land. Put water on it, it'll grow just about anything. Crops are planted and the water's flowing. I wasn't speaking of your rock farm, Benjamin. I was speaking of my sister, a fine, young Mexican woman, a woman of good family and tradition. And a woman that I love very, very much, with no reflections and no regrets and a woman who loves you very much. Ay, you are both dreamers. <laughs> Vámonos. How long you been packing that pair? Two days. Got posters on them both. Published by Pinkerton. Dead one's Cade Winslow. Dying one's Roscoe Binder. I'm gonna need your help with a wire to clear up that bounty. Name's Leach. Quentin Leach. I know who you are. Door's open. <laughs> 
You can find the cell keys in there on a hook by the inner door. I'll go bind her up. Get that carcass down to the funeral parlor. I got a wedding to tend to before I get near either one of those two. Election year, huh? Yeah. Times are changing, Leach. Changing fast. Guy comes into town here, starts plowing up rocks and putting in irrigation ditches. Says he's going to start farming. And now, to top it off, he's marrying a Mexican gal down at the Catholic Church with candles, the whole Latin mumbo jumbo. I'll tell you one thing, if old man Gutierrez, her daddy, is still alive today, he wouldn't be having none of it. Travel off the light. Where can I get the best price for their trappings? Leather looks pretty good. Pick them right clean, don't you? Yeah, helps meet expenses. Takes a while for the bounty to catch up. Old dog down at the funeral parlor will help you out with the goods. When I get back from this wedding, I'll get a wire off to Pinkerton. You can pick up your bounty and then just get. Suits me just fine. Stupid as he was, your partner might have made the smarter choice after all. He's got nothing more to worry about. You gotta think about your sin, Jet. Yeah, good thing the wind's coming out of the north. I reckon the town's prime for a funeral. They'll be using a brand new rope for your big send-off. Big knot right behind your ear. If they do it right. You won't feel a thing. You do it wrong. You can squirm a lot. Leech, there ain't a dime's worth of difference between you and me. There's a big difference, Roscoe. You're in there, and I'm out here. Pater Noster, qui es in celi santificetur nomen tu. Advenian regnum tuum fiat voluntas tua sicud in cielo in terra. Come on, William. Ahora puede besar la novia. Wow. Empty out that vault, Mr. Baker. We won't leave any spare change behind. Wedding. 
Shannon! Uh, listen up, Roscoe. Because you can bet there won't be any church bells ringing where you're going. Can't get the family out here in the middle of the street. I told you, trouble's coming! Just hang on to this. Almost done.
We've got to find her. Head up river. You heard the man? Move out. Search up river. They're long gone. There's nothing more we can do here. Let me see it. Let me see it! Ben, she's dead. She never had a chance. They killed her. Ben! Ben, I won't do any time! You'll get yourself killed, Ben! Stand no chance at all crossing that river. There's others dead, plenty hurt. Lord knows how bad it is. We're needed back in Del Rio where we can do some good. Back to Del Rio!
man shouldn't ride his horse to death, not out here in this country. You got a mighty long walk under a hot sun to get back to Del Rio. Lest you find a rock to hide under till sundown. Keep sucking on that water, you're gonna blow it up like a she-goat, too. That'll kill you for sure. Who are you? Yeah, like you. I'm nobody. Who the hell are you? I'm nobody, boy. Make your way back to Del Rio, boy. I'll find them murdering bastards and do something. Pull them up, mister. Hold on, boy. There ain't no bounty on this old hide. You throw down that revolver and you swing down off the horse. I'll be taking him. You don't want this old horse, do you, boy? I said swing down, mister. I'm taking your horse. Careful, boy. If this horse spooks, I don't want to take one in the brisket. You move away from the horse, old man. Slow and easy. You see, you just made your second mistake. You're luckier than most. You got two, maybe three choices. One, you can back away, you can try a shot from the hip, but you won't do that. Or you can put it up to your shoulder, and you'll damn sure die for that move. This is none of your business. They killed my wife! What business is that of yours? It's exactly what it is. It's business. What we're dealing with here is the Walker brothers and their gang. There's a big bounty on them boys. Five of them rode out of Del Rio. Two of them was hurt pretty bad. That bounty's going to be bigger after that ruckus. And I aim to claim it. You back off, kid. You put that rifle down, and I mean now. drop on me and live to brag about it. <coughs> I just couldn't decide whether to blow your damn fool head off <coughs> or bust your butt. <coughs> Best you find yourself a rock or a tree to hide under. Traveling's a lot easier late at night. Figure you'll make it back to Del Rio by mid-morning. <coughs> Coming with you. Dumb as a headless chicken, too. <laughs> Get out here and help me. Get out of here, kid. It's funny about people, even their kind. They gotta do what's proper. They gotta show their respect. This will be the one that was gut shot. Grab his arm. Come on, grab hold, kid. 
crab hole. Just a carcass, a side of bad beef. What the Sam Hill are you doing? I'm reburying him, whoever he is. His name is Nick Tempest. And there's a big bounty out for him. Probably be bigger since the Del Rio fracas. You get me a tarp. Don't you listen to me, kid. I don't know whose bullet killed him, and I don't care whose bullet killed him. He belongs to me now. You get me a tarp, and you get it now. You get your own damn tarp, old man. How long you suppose he carried that old cat's eye around? Damn little value for a life of crime. I reckon his partners took his share of everything else. I'll use this on a horse trade or something, you never know. Carcass may be worth three, four hundred dollars. Hadn't been in the business long enough to fetch more than that. What do they call you, boy? Tabor. Benjamin Tabor. All my friends, they, they call me Benny, I expect. How old are you? 25, maybe. Hell, boy, when I was 25, I was at Shiloh being shot at and getting in my share of shooting. You ever kill a man? Killing ain't hard. Unless, of course, he's a mind to kill you. Revenge is a mighty cold supper, Benny. You never get enough to satisfy that pain you're feeling. It's not your pain. I'll tell you something, old man. I'm not giving it up. Hell, you've already killed a good horse. If it wasn't for me getting soft and giving you water, you'd be dead out there with it right now. Turn it around, boy. Save your life. Do something else with it. May take a while. Grief always does. But you can put it behind you. If you're willing to give it up now. It seems to me it takes a man with some feelings to know anything about grief. You go to hell, old man. I kill for bounty, kid. That's what I do for a living. And I aim to collect on those boys. Damn, the eye's bigger than my stomach. Cooked up too much bacon. I'll check on the tarp on this carcass. Wouldn't want the coyotes to eat up my evidence. No point wasting that bacon. How much of the greenbacks you figure was in those bags Jervis spilled out of the back of that buggy? Never had time to count. Don't matter. You got your share of what there is. Well, it's not enough. Not for the loss of one of our compadres. Hey, it's a damn sight more than there'd be if we was splitting five ways. You didn't lose any skin. You got more than you had and we rode in here, so quit your belly aching. Yeah, well, that ain't our only complaint. It ain't fair you walkers keeping her for yourselves. 
Yeah. I ain't gonna keep running through this all night, Dyke. We lost some of the loot, maybe most of it. But we wound up with something to boot. A nice fat bonus we sell her to the right buyer down in Chihuahua. And the right buyer don't deal in used goods. Yeah. Well, how do you know she ain't already used goods? We got in on this deal and we share and share alike. I'm ready for my share. Jervis, get your butt over here. Right now. We're looking at maybe 500 in hard cash or not a red cent. Almanzar, you want in on this fight? <laughs> we can buy a woman at Peppers. And for a lot less than $500, huh? <laughs> uh, I take my share of the $500. We're not going to Peppers. We're riding on to Mexico while the goods are still fresh. You can come with us. You can look us up later. Pedro, go get our ashes hauled, and uh, we'll meet up you boys in Lajitas in three or four days. What do you say, Pedro? We see you, Lajitas, sir. <laughs> you know, she still could be used goods, Jake. She was wearing a white wedding dress, Jervis. Mexicans take that stuff serious. Yeah, she was wearing white. Well, what about you, senora? You fresh goods or not? Cabrón! <laughs> you had that coming, Jervis. Fresh goods means no bruises, no nothing, comprende? They'll find you. And they'll kill you! All of you! I ain't never seen a lawman west of Devil's River. And a month from now, ain't nobody from Del Rio gonna wanna lay claim to what's left of you, Missy. And just between you and me, I'm getting sick and tired of my big brother making all the rules. No! Beside me, kid. I want to be able to see you out of the corner of my eyes, comprende? Beverly, where's that bottle? Yeah. Three. <laughs> I call. I'll take two. What can I do for you, Pilgrim? Sign outside says freight. Which way and how often? What do you got? East. Once a week or thereabouts. Due through here, day after tomorrow. Got a package outside needs to go to the Del Rio Sheriff's Office. It's gonna be pretty rank day after tomorrow. What kind of package? It's a carcass. Bank robber named Tempest. Aimed to claim the bounty. Which one of you boys came in here in the wall-eyed paint? Okay, up against the wall. I don't even want to see your eyes. Okay, okay, all right. I'm going to ask all of you one more time. And if I don't get the answers I want, I'm going to start shooting again. Which one of you boys rode in here on that wall-eyed paint with a bullet burn on its run? <laughs> I'm riding that one. You turn and stand clear. I got. 
got no poster on you. How long have you been riding with the Walkers? Walkers? I don't know what you're talking about. There's three more of them. There's Jervis and Jake Walker and another one. Where'd they go? Mister, I think maybe you're... You stay out of this, Barkeep! Honest to God, mister, I don't know what you're talking about. You got two, maybe three choices. You can go for the iron on your hip. You can die with your fingers and your ears, or you can tell me where they went. Which one is it? Oh, man, you're out of your mind. You shut up. You got no choice. <clears throat> you choose quick. Leach, he ain't the one. He's not one of the men at the bank, and you know it. Who the hell are you? Someone you don't ever want to meet up with again. That's for damn sure. Barkeep, make sure my package gets delivered to Del Rio. Yes, sir. You really uh, showed that old man your backbone, Cole. Pure yellow. <laughs> Young buffalo to you, but good. And Lent went and lifted his leg all over your britches. And you just stood there and made your own puddle. <laughs> Hey, Everly. You want to tell me about the Walker brothers and Dyke Holland? No, I ain't seen nobody like that. Just these fellas here. Troublemaker. His name's Elman, sir. They rode in, they bought a jug, and they rode out. Lightly for peppers. Mister, don't do this. Please, for God's sake, mister, there ain't a doctor in a hundred miles of here. If I move, I'm dead. If you're expecting a thank you, kid, it ain't coming. I didn't ask for your help, and I didn't need it. You said side me, kid. I said side me so I could keep an eye on you and not have to worry about what was happening behind my back. You know, killing don't mean spit to you, does it? One thing you learn quick in my business, boy, there ain't no such thing as an innocent man, just some less guilty. I gave him his choices. He just took the wrong one. He wouldn't leave it alone. What about Everly? That barkeep will make damn sure my package is delivered. So you go on back to Del Rio, and you grieve over your dead wife, and you get on with your life, and let me get on with my business. You know, I don't care whether you like it or not, Leach. I'm coming with you. If you're coming with me, you ride this horse. And you damn well better keep up. On. No point baking your brain. 
want that back, though. Hat like that will bring four bits in Paso or Lordsburg. Some bartender will put it on display. Charge admission. Suits me fine. I've never been comfortable wearing one of these things anyway. Makes you look like a man of purpose. Besides, your wedding outfit's about done in. Her name was Maria. God, she was a fine woman. Nobody ever said life was fair, Benny. I keep telling myself it's better than the other choice. Most of the time, anyway. Starting to look like a real desperado in that hat. Howdy, Mr. Leach. It's been a while. Then it has, Abner. Thought maybe you had met your match. Hadn't happened. Not yet and not likely. Oh, it'll happen. That's for darn sure, Quentin Leach. Glad to see you too, Pepper. Are you riding with Leach, boy? I never figured him for a partner. I am a partner. His name's Benjamin Tabor. We just happen to be riding the same trail. Ben, say hello to Flora May Pepper, late of Dodge in Denver City. Well, Quentin knows the rules. I made most of them because of him and his kind. You pack no iron here, boy. There's no fighting, no killing, and no credit. Meals and bunks are five bucks a night, and the house gets 10% of each and every game. You planning on staying? Yeah, we're staying, at least for tonight. Extracted back in Del Rio. Need to sell some of these for some spending money. More like blood money, wouldn't you say, old man? <laughs> Kids say howdy. That silly looking one there is Dyke Holland. They call him Tickle Box. Makes that one almonds over. Where'd you pick up the sidekick, old man? That ain't your style. Times are changing, Dyke. I hear you boys been keeping company with Jervis and Jake Walker. They around? <sighs> Mr. Leach, you and your friend hang up your guns there. There's water and oats for your animals under the Ramada. And the hideouts, too, Quentin. Hardest part's waiting around, ain't it, boys? Okay. Let's get on. Set the timer place to start anything. So that's Leisha. He don't look so little tough. He's just an old man. You watch yourself, Pedro. That old bull rode in the town just for two things. You're hiding mine. Those pistols he's selling weren't bought at no auction. Don't brought him into anything. Not here at Peppers. <laughs> and that's 48, 49, and 
fifty. You know, Pepper, I could sell them irons for twice that back in Del Rio. Yes, and twice that in El Paso, but it would not be worth your ride. I reckon you're right for you or me. I've been run out of my last boomtown term respectable. Somebody come in here and try to run me off, he'll find he's got a fight on his hands. Yes, ma'am. I don't want to live to see that day. What are you charging for a hot bath nowadays? Oh, 50 bucks. But for you, a buck. Throw in a back brush? Yes. <laughs> but it'll cost you another buck. Simple pleasure. It's a secret to life, Pepper. Finding joy in the simple things. Well, maybe there's hope for you yet. What do you mean? Oh, just that I never figured you on partnering up with anybody. The boy's not my partner. Benny's not cut out for hunting bounty. He's a walking death wish. <laughs> And you're not. Hey, you've been on bar time for 20 years. You know, Pepper, if I didn't know better, I'd think you cared. I'll get the girls to boil your shirt and knock that dust out of your clothes. I don't want the girls to boil my shirt, and I don't want you or any other woman to do my laundry. Just put my clothes down. They stink to high heaven. And two days from now, when I'm on the trail, they're going to smell just as bad. If it gets to the point that I can't stand it, I'll wash them myself. Quentin, give it up. You can go on killing from now on till doomsday, but you're not going to bring her back. If you can live with the ghosts of all the men that you've sent to glory, then I can live with the ghost of one woman. A woman who's been dead for 20 years. This is all the life there is for people like me and you, Pepper. No. We've used up all our choices. It says right here in your book, it says redemption. It says there's still time if you want it, Quentin. If you want it. I've lost track of all the years that you've been blowing in and out of here like a dust devil. Just getting me to scrub your back and then just blowing out of here. Just riding out without even looking back. Leaving me feeling like a widow. Buy this last card, boys, just to watch you squirm. It's ten dollars. I'm out. Hell, boys, my mama didn't raise no quitter. I'm gonna bump you ten dollars. I didn't think you had no mama, Leach. I thought you crawled out from underneath a rock. <laughs> I did. Right after I nailed your mama. You boys ought to show your daddy a little more respect, don't you think? <laughs> Damn it, Leach. Show your cards. Aces and eights. 
took real grit, Leach. Playing into a dead man's hand. Well, I thank you boys for this pocket change. Let's look at this as a deposit. What I aim to collect. Man, get under your skin. Leach has all the money. But tomorrow, Pepper will say adios and we write to Laquitas. Choose for yourself. I ain't had my ashes hauled. I ain't letting that old man spook me into running. This here's safe ground. Can't touch either one of us. When are those animals? That old man's crazy as a loon. Letting yourself get ride by a crazy old man. Dark night to be going for a ride. Man could lame his horse. Or even worse, riding around on these bluffs at night. Unless, of course, he's headed west upriver. Going might be a bit easier. I figure I might head that way myself come daylight. I see you in hell, old man. I'm counting on that. Just not yet. I got more business to take care of. You watch your back, Pedro. I'm gonna be right behind you. Are you leaving plane? is always out and you come again. We riding out after? No, morning will be soon enough. Keep us from getting ambushed. Easier tracking. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. A horse of his, missing the right rear shoe. Holland's mare's missing the left front. Since when? Since just before that greasy pistol arrow rode out of here. <laughs> what didn't I think of that? You fool! You knew the rules! Don't you ever come back here again! Best get yourself a haunch off that barbecue goat. There won't be no morning meal. I mean what I said about daylight. By daylight, he's going to be 10 miles down the trail. Yeah, but he's going to be leading us straight to the Walker Brothers. Daylight, kid. You heard Mr. Leach said. It's time for us to be going on about our business, young gentlemen. How come you took up with that crazy old coot kid? You figure on Leach living long enough to teach you the trade? Something like that. Hey, you best be a quick learner. Go into some other line of work. Like bank robbing? Pays pretty good. How about rape? Maybe murder. 
What are you driving at, boy? You looking to get gutted right here? I'm driving to Del Rio, Valverde Bank and Trust. A young woman named Maria, still wearing her wedding dress. Sound familiar? <laughs> so that was her name, huh? She was my wife. Your wife, huh? <laughs> Let me tell you something, boy. She ain't dead. At least why not yet. She better wish that she was. <laughs> I'll be damned! Pepper, who knows? Someday. Leach, you better finish getting dressed. Come on outside. I told you we're leaving in the morning. You wait around here till morning, and I'm gonna be long gone. Finally going home. Uh -uh. Heading west, and then upriver. I'm going after the Walker boy. Ben! Let him go, Quentin. It's his choice. You hold on to this. What's got into you, boy? Maria's still alive, Leech. She's alive. Who told you that? I heard it from Ticklebox. Guy Collin? He came at me with a pig sticker, bragging about how the walkers have Maria. Leech, I've got to go after her. Ben, even if Guy Collin's talking straight, he hadn't been with the walkers in days. Now, just what are you trying to say? I'm saying there's a big difference between living and being alive. Look, I hung your belt rig from the saddle horn, and I filled the canteens. Now, are you coming with me or not? What about my hideouts? They're in your saddlebags. Fresh goods are you, honey. Here I come. Ah! Ah! You should not have done that. Now this is gonna hurt. Hurt real bad. No! Ah! No! If you weren't Ken, I'd rip your head clean off your neck. <laughs> 
This is the last time I'm gonna put up with your life. Do it! Kill him like the mad dog he is, then kill me! You shut up! I got a good mind to just ride off and... So sudden, it's your own fool mistake. He's... he's coming. Leech, how far back? Hey! Oh, now look what you've gone and done. Wait a minute. Must have broke his leg. We're still three riders on two horses. We've got Leech coming up behind us. Come on, let's go. Nothing. Hold on, kid. Could be nothing more than a dead coyote. But then, should let me go in first. Salmon's are. But the buzzard's been picking on him for a while. Won't get any money for this car because his own mama won't recognize him.
There's a Rio Grande, boy. I took her to Mexico. Bad, Benny. Where's Holland? Who? My corpse. The horse and the mule broke away in a shoot. Damn! The carcass was worth two hundred dollars and the horse another fifty. I didn't know we were still hunting bounty. It's an old habit, kid. Help me get these things out of my hide, and we'll get on with it. Now that we know they're within reach. One good thing, if there was ever a body that didn't deserve a Christian burial, it was old Ticklebox. I hope he rides till he rots. Slide down, boy, and give me a hint. <clears throat> you sure you're okay? Touch me. <laughs> Touch me! Hey. Service and Jake Walker, the Walker brothers, where are they? I followed them here from the river, and I know they're here. Did they have a woman with them? See, si. they was here. They had a beautiful woman with them. They had some mezcal, and then they were gone. Vamos! I'm going to ask you but one time. Where are they now? Upstairs. Where? Two rooms at the end of the hall, either side. Ben! Better give me some mezcal. We're gonna go up there. And if that isn't gospel, I'll be back.
bleach. You're supposed to be dead. This one's mine. Then the other one is mine. Jake Walker's mine, you hear me? Kid, grab me a blanket and a lass off that horse's carcass is mine. And you're mine, old man. I 
I strongly suggest you drop that carbine in the dirt. Do it, Ben. You know something, Leach? There's even more bounty on you than there is on that carcass. Seven hundred dollars. Who put it up? You got a poster on me? No, no poster. A bunch of the boys got together and figured they'd be a whole lot better off without you in their future. Him and his brother contributed. It should make me real proud. And you? Just one of the boys? I work both sides. Whoever pays best. Of course, now, that bounty is only collectible so long as you're dead. You're a move, old man. It's not your choice, man. I see it. I got one, maybe two choices. <laughs> well, that's a whole lot better than no choice at all. dollars you're gonna have to earn Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I want you to pick him up, kid, and carry him over to your horse. Did you hear what I said? I'm not gonna mess around with you, boy. I am collecting the bounty on Jake Walker. That was that nice. Better do like I said, boy. Nobody's gonna put a reward on me for killing some smart-ass, wet-behind-the-ears pot walloper. Hell, nobody'd even know. And nobody would complain about me harvesting the leftovers. Better do like I said. Pick him up. Made your second mistake, mister. Name's Candace. Time down good. Move away. I figure you got two, maybe three choices. You can back off, you can try a shot from the hip, and sure as hell you're gonna hit this horse. Or you can take aim, and you'll die for it. You're crazy, boy. I got no poster with you. Stand clear before I decide to call you.
Make your choice, mister. Who was this man, Leech? He was my friend. I hope he knows that. Just like the king. 